Hi, I'm Teresa. I'm a ballet and a yoga instructor. As promised, I decided to do a video on how to improve your splits. Um, for this practice, you will need either one or two blocks or something that will hold you up. So you can use a textbook, a tissue box, anything to help you stabilize when we're working through our splits. So first, let's start in a pigeon, a half pigeon. So bring your right leg parallel to the top of your mat. Flex your right foot. Sit up nice and tall. Breathe into this. And then when you're ready, walk your fingertips down to the ground so you're on your forearms here. And if this is too much for you, you can always place a blanket or a block underneath your right hip. Breathe here. And if you want, you're feeling okay, you can stretch your arms long and try and get your forehead to touch the mat. If you feel any pain, stop immediately and backtrack a few steps to make sure you're comfortable. Walk your hands back up from here. You can bend your left leg and grab the inside of your foot with your left hand. Make sure you're sitting up straight so you're not collapsed into it here or overstretched. You just want to be have a nice quad stretch here. This is also stretching your hip flexors. Breathe here. And don't slingshot it, but slowly lower your left leg down. And before you roll into a full split, take both of your blocks, place them on the middle setting on either side of your right leg. And press into your right split, but don't go all the way down, yeah? So keep your hands on these blocks. You're just kind of hovering over the ground here. Your left knee can be on the ground, but also try not to collapse here. So you don't want to have a turtleneck. You want to keep your neck nice and long, shoulders out of your ears. Hold for 10, for 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower the blocks down to the low setting. And hold for 10. Nine, eight, seven, three, two, one, and lower all the way down. Place the blocks to the side and breathe here. Three, two, one, and if you can and you're feeling comfortable, walk your hands down to your right foot. Maybe your nose touches your knee, maybe not. Do what's comfortable. Walk your hands back up. Slowly come out of that. Let's do a quick butterfly stretch. Flap your knees open. Inhale. Exhale, reach up and over. All right, and let's go ahead and do the left side. So let's do a left pigeon. Make sure that you bring your blocks with you. So your left shin is parallel with the top of your mat. Left foot is flexed, right leg is long behind you. Again, stretching out the quad, stretching out your hip flexors. Breathe here. And if this is comfortable for you, and if you want a little bit more, you can walk your hands down so your forearms are touching the ground. And just breathe here. Very nice. And if you want a little bit more of a stretch, walk your fingertips out so your forehead touches the ground. Grab your blocks. Again, on the middle setting, 
on both sides of your left leg and go ahead and hover above the ground. So again, not in that pulse flip, but we are like grazing the ground. Right knee can rest on the ground. Make sure your shoulders are out of your ears and breathe here for 10, for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower the blocks to the low setting. For your 10, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one, and get rid of the blocks. And you're in your left slip. Remember to breathe. And if you want, you can walk your hands down. And quickly, let's do a butterfly. Butterfly stretch. Reach up, inhale, and exhale, lower down. Feel free to come back to the split session anytime you need a little bit of a reminder or some help with your splits. And you can repeat each side two or three times to help you improve with these splits. Thank you.